To begin with, I'm in a cell library here. I've got a cell on the screen, but there's lots of cells in the cell library. So when we want to review certain properties, I can open up the properties dialog. I can open up the models dialog. And as I choose the various cells in here, it's going to give me properties about that, right? It's going to give me the name of the cell. That's also the name of the model. It's going to give me the description of the cell, which is the description of the model. So that's a couple of properties I can get. It's telling me which design file it comes from. If we scroll down, there's other properties. So can this model be placed as a cell? If that's set to true, then it'll show up in the cell library as a cell that's available to place. Can it be placed as an annotation cell? If it's false, then it's just going to come in and you'd have to scale it up and down. If that's set to true, then it'll automatically scale up and down based on the drawing scale that's applied in the design file that you, you have. And there are other properties. Working units, what's the master unit, subunits, what's the resolution of the file, what's the working area and solids area of the model. All of these will be considerations. If we copy in a cell library from we find somewhere else in our workspace, these are the kind of things we'd want to review to see what adjustments we need to make to get it to align with our seed files in our workspace. Now I could go through each model in each cell library one at a time and review these, or I can create a report. We'll see in an upcoming video how to create that report. This completes the video on properties to be reviewed.